So now we're going to look at some more ways that you can edit masks. You can crop the mask and select only a certain region. So you click on this button here and then you move the frame around to the region that you want and you press OK. So as you can see, these bones haven't been selected, whereas these have. But for the rest of the tutorial, we want the entire hand, so we're just going to hit undo. To print the 3D object, it has to be solid all the way through. So to do this, you can use cavity fill rather than editing each slide slice by slice. So cavity fill is here and we're just going to fill the cavity of cyan using a new mask and you just click outside and it creates the new mask fuchsia and you can see here that fuchsia has taken everything outside of the blue mask and we're going to fill the cavity of fuchsia now with a new mask and just click there and it's created a new mask orange that is the solid bone. Okay, so another way to edit a mask is to use region growing. So I'll demo this on the green mask. Okay, so region growing is up here. And so what region growing does is when you select an area of a mask, uh, region growing will take all points that are connected to that mask and put them onto a new mask. So um, I'll just set this up here. So my source mask is my green. The target mask is a new mask, which will be um, everything that gets region growed, grown. Okay, um, so if I select this area of the green mask, the region growing will take any other part of that mask that is directly connected to it and put it onto the new mask. So now <coughs> what this new mask consists of is just the single middle finger because that is isolated from the other four. So they did not get included when I region grown. Yeah.